Environmental epidemiology itself is a very broad field. It's essentially looking at um, population health um, related to an environmental hazard of any kind. So that could be sort of weather, it could be more wider sort of climate change, and it could also be sort of environmental hazards and emergencies like a fire or an earthquake and things like that. So it's quite um, broad. It cuts across both infectious and non-infectious diseases. And so my role then as an epidemiologist is um, to work with the variety of fields in environmental epidemiology, which is very different to normal epidemiology because we have toxicologists for chemicals, we have like um, radiologists we'll talk to, you have climate scientists that you're talking to as well as health professionals and working with medical data. So it's a, a bridging of more disciplines, I'd say, compared to other fields of epidemiology. So like on a, on a day to day basis, um, my role would consist of um, checking up on the lead exposure in children's surveillance system. Um, we will look at the reports for that. We also analyze data for that and produce annual reports. We'll also work with various stakeholders to try and optimize that system. Uh, we do a lot of research. So we have research programs with academic institutions. So UKHSA has supported um, a lot of training opportunities for me, especially um, I started my PhD project um, like one and a half years into joining um, UKHSA and they're supporting that too. Um, so I, will, I work part time and then part time on the, the PhD project. This has given me the opportunity to really work with senior professionals within UKHSA as well, which has been a really beneficial experience. I've been quite lucky here that we have quite a strong um, female team as well, which really makes a difference because you feel more supported in those ways as well.